As we continue here with the journey, and I will show you what the disaster we face. It's not as easy as other people normally say out there how to open up this battery from Nissan Leaf. Because especially when it's already getting so old or maybe being outside in the car for so long, corrosion happened. We have an obstacle here that we're facing. So I have to do the traditional way, the MC Hammer. <laughs> I'll call it the MC Hammer, not the artist though. So we get all these ones. It's a special tool that uh, we purchased and I'm gonna show you. A lot of you guys have that on your, or in your garage. So these are the ones, pardon me for the light. So that's security screws, they call them, security beat sets. And, um, and that's the problem. We end up getting to this point. It snapped right in the middle. Okay? Thank you, China. It's made in China. All right? So this just get the entire process so hard, then I have to do the traditional, which is the MC Yama. This one. See, I have to snap this side here. This one was holding there so hard, it can't even let go. So I beat the crap out of it and um, get this one and use a, a, a grip wrench and hold the, the screw, which is, um, I was spinning it around. Here comes the rubber hammer, the MC hammer right there. Then I use this guard, this guy right here. I just trying to tissue the thing and beat it up so hard. Yeah, I know it's not gonna be shocked anything, but finally we are able to open the the uh, the battery. So let me show you what's inside. Stay tuned. So we're gonna open up the thing for you guys to see. And uh, all right, there we go. Voila. All right, that's the batteries in there, folks. That's the boy. What a boy. So if you're worried or wonder how these batteries, sometimes you see the body is probably banged up outside. And now, look how this thing is built. It's really, really shiny and polished with a nice uh, coating that, you know, even if it rusts, like here, you can see probably they did, uh, I don't know if it's like a, um, what do you call it? It's like a, a mud. They're trying to like seal in some of the other stuff or whatever, but for just water prevention. But trust me, look at the terminal right here. This is where we've been beating the thing. And you see right there, but look how clean. Look how clean it is. All right? All right. That's all I'm going to show you right now. I'm not going to be showing you the other stuff where we disable, uh, disable, disable the battery because of um, electrical shock or risk. I don't want to, if I'm going to get zapped, I don't want to be on camera. Okay? See you on the next video. Well, I'm just going to show you a little bit what I'm doing here. Trying to disconnect this... Uh, packs which um, seems kind of a little bit tricky but uh, not that much is the first time folks uh, that's the thing so see I got it off there's a little pin on the corner you know that you just have to squeeze right here you see it I'll push it right there it's out so try as much as possible to disconnect what you can like here I know there's a uh, probably like a fuse like or a point that a terminal that's batteries connected right there see so We have to go in that thing and try to disconnect as much as we can Those are the wires. We have to take that guy out So let's look for I took some of the other spot right there So I'm not an expert into this don't try it at home and I'm just um, saying, I'm not advising you to use my, you know, my video like uh, something. I'm not liable to anything what you do. And this is for only entertainment purposes and for private use, which is me. 
So I'm not responsible for any shock or danger or life threatening into any individual's life. The thing I'm doing right here is a risk. The thing I'm doing and I'm taking and I make sure that um, I'm not a professional doing these lithiums. Um, it's a learning process, a learning curve, and I'm just trying to make sure that everybody um, who's about to do this, you know what you're going to be dealing with. Okay? So that's one right here. So this is the risk I'm taking for myself. And uh, with my family, but um, I just have to be careful on what I'm doing. So, give me a flat right there. So, I'm not wearing gloves. The flat, the red one. Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what I'm doing here is very risky, but trying to take, I disconnect one, all around out here, all the possibilities, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Because dealing with these uh, packs, it's not as easy. These are highly high voltage. It has a potential of stopping your heart, kill you, and the company is not liable for nothing because it's all on you. All right? They don't care because they don't want you to do it. They don't want you to open it. But there's another one here. So there's another one here I'm trying to take off, but I got one off, so I'm looking for all these ones. Right there. So I got to disconnect all of them, all of them, okay? I uh, think those are probably the BMSs, you know, but there's one guy here which I want to take you off. Right there. It's a terminal. See that? Okay. Right there. I was going to do a live stream, but the signal is not as strong. So, folks, um, this is all the breaking down tearing up all these, uh, cutting the wires, disable some of the stuff, and um, this is the layout. This is uh, one of the main control right here. I think it's the charging, whatever, the BMS, maybe that's all it is. I'm not an expert on this, so I'm not going to be naming names, telling you exactly what the names are. I don't care. I just want the batteries. That's it. Okay? Some of the stuff here, uh, they might be recycled. Got to dump a lot of stuff to the trash. And uh, we get from there. Live from the station here in Minnesota. This is how we do it. This is how we do it.